I always knew God existed. I've always known he was there. Um, but I always felt like he was disappointed in me and that he didn't have time for me. I remember one time needing some kind of strength or comfort. And I knew that other people turned to God. I laid on my bed and I even wrote him a note, which sounds silly, but I did. I was like, this is how I feel and this is what I need. And I, I was probably like 10 and I folded it up and I put it under my pillow and I thought, if God loves me, he'll take this note. And I woke up in the morning and it wasn't gone. <laughs> and it, I, I know that that sounds silly, but in a 10 year old mind, I was like, of course he doesn't love me. Of course he's not gonna take that. And I remember just crying and crying and crying in my bed that there was no relief for someone like me. And um, I carried that with me uh, into high school and into my mission and into my you know, my young married life and, and until five years ago. So I've always loved drawing, like I said, I've always loved it, um, but I never ever felt like I was good enough. And so I'd always hide my drawings or my paintings because I didn't want to be embarrassed. Um, but it was about five years ago that my stake president asked me to do a specific um, project for him. I met with my stake president for the recommend interview. That's all I wanted to talk about. Get it, get in and get out and go. And um, at the end of that, that interview, he's like, is there anything else you want to talk about? And I was like, no, I'm good. He's like, thanks, but I'm fine. And he said it again. He's like, Sister Lee, is there anything else that you want to talk about? And I just like burst into tears. And, and um, there was everything that I wanted to talk about, but I was too afraid. I didn't know that I could. Um, and so I started telling him, you know, this is what I feel about myself. And, you know, I wish that I could be better. I wish that I could be like good enough for God. And I really felt like I was a huge failure. Anyway, so we would meet every week and talk about different things and he'd give me different assignments. So there was a time that I came into his office, we sat down and he started asking me, okay, what are some things that you think about yourself or how do you feel about yourself? How do you think God views you? And, and he pulled out sticky notes and he put these sticky notes on his desk and he gave me a pen and he said, write down what you think is truth about you. And so I wrote down um, things that like you were ugly, you're dumb, you're not smart enough, um, you're a waste of time, you're bad at your calling, like all of these negative things. And But it was truth, it was my truth. And um, he says, well, what are those? And I said, well, this is who I am. This is my truth. And he said, no, that's not who you are. He put those ones aside and he put out fresh ones, like new, uh, new sticky notes. And he says, I want you to take these sticky notes home and I want you to pray about the ones that you wrote down, and then I want you to write down what God really thinks about you. And I was like, no, <laughs> because God's gonna confirm what I think, you know, and I, I don't wanna, I can't handle that. And, um, but he says, this is your assignment, take it home. And then the boys one morning left for school and I was like, okay, I can't avoid it. And I knelt down at our couch and, um, and I didn't have to say any words. I just, you know, cried and cried and cried. And it was just this feeling of calm and peace. And um, it just was, Heavenly Father answered all of my questions. And I, I wish I could explain that, that it, the exact feeling, but it was just, it was amazing. <laughs> and he confirmed that, no, this is who you are. And this is what you can do. And this is your abilities and just, you know, go forward. And so about a month after um, the sticky note assignment, I went back to my stake president talking to him. And he said, he said, what are some of the things that you like to do? And I'm like, oh, I like to draw. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, yeah, you like art, right? And and I, you know, just like, yeah, I love it, I love it, it's so good. And, and he says, I need you to paint me a picture. And I said, I looked at him like this, like, what? <laughs> I just, I need, I have the scripture that I love, I want you to paint it for me. Um, yeah, no, I was scared to, to paint it because I really, I believed I was gonna fail. So when the painting was done, and it was time to give it to him, I almost had a panic attack, because I didn't want to give it to him. <laughs> because I didn't want him to hate it. And I brought it up out of the, out of the studio and he just 
I kept saying, it's beautiful, this is beautiful, this is exactly what I want. And I was like, you don't have to be so nice, it's okay, I know it's sad. <laughs> and he's like, no, this is what I want. And I didn't realize what he was trying to do. But that painting opened the door to all the other paintings that I do now. You know, had I not done that painting, it would not be here because I would still be scared. I feel like my art reflects that new discovery of my relationship with God. So the painting, um, Faith to be Healed, is about the woman who has the blood issue, right? And this, this lady, this is her story. She knew that through Christ she could be healed. She knew that one touch of Christ's robe would heal her from the inside and inside out. And that's something that I just think is amazing. That's something that I wanted as well, was to be healed from the inside out, to have a place where I belonged. Through talking with my stake president and sharing things with him, um, it slowly opened my heart to be able to look at Heavenly Father as a real father, because I didn't ever, I never understood it like that before. And so my prayers changed and I was able to, instead of saying, thanks for today, you know, I was able to say, um, you know, this is what I'm going through, or thank you so much for this experience. And, you know, um, I hope when, when people put, hang out my paintings in their home, I hope that they can know that who they are is important. Um, but more importantly, I hope that they can know that Heavenly Father is there watching over them and that they have a savior and um, that they can understand what the atonement can do for them. Because it, atonement isn't just for sins, it's not, it's for, you know, heartaches and sorrows and, and insecurities and all of those little things that we carry every day, that's what the atonement is for. And so I hope that people can come to Christ through my paintings.